All you bitches broke me to the core Even my best friend don't check up on me But lying telling me that she loved me I wrote this in a pool full of pain I wrote this while walking through the rain uh, Yeah, uh, hey, I wrote this while walking through the rain I wrote this while walking through the rain uh, hey, Heart throbbing, uh, I feel like pain is a life sentence uh, Gotta get up and keep going What's up guys? Alright, so I know I know my mic is terrible and I uh, promise you I uh, I'm gonna get a new one soon. Uh, no I'm just kidding, I got a warranty on this headset so I'm gonna exchange it for the uh, for another headset. I uh sucks. I barely had this for like three weeks and it's just absolutely terrible. Uh, I tried everything to make it loud as I can. Uh, I could pull out my microphone, but I don't even know how that's going to work with how far away it's going to be and how loud I have to do it with the external noise following it behind. So, right now you guys are just watching gameplay of me uh, playing Forza, but this is a channel update and a cover virtual talk. The uh, channel update, I'll start with that first since it's going to be a lot, and the cover virtual talk is gonna be very controversial so I'm expecting dislikes but you don't have to dislike you know you could leave a like and then put a comment on what you believe in your opinion and stuff like that so the first thing we're gonna talk about is I'm gonna go a little bit a uh, on upload situation just because of the uh, situation I'm in right now I'm only having one day off I don't know how much I could do within that day but I will try purge content much as I can um, as far as a podcast, that still will happen. Uh, me and Mari just gotta figure out what's perfect. I don't know what he's been up to. I know he moved, so he's trying to settle in his new place. I was supposed to do that somewhere in the end of this month or next month, but things change apparently. I don't know what's gonna happen, but all I know is that I need to grind up to remain. Uh, for naturally study. Anywho, with that out of the way, that's over with the channel update. So you know, keep up. Maybe I might go on Twitch. So don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I might pop up one day and just stream for an hour or two. But now for the controversial part, we're gonna talk about the uh, this news. That's actually quite big. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it, especially those who is on TikTok. You might already seen the video. But I'm gonna put the two other videos up. I wish I say the videos are the ones that was bashing on her, but I couldn't. And those two videos are important, so I'm gonna go back and talk about those two that you guys are not able to see, and I'll explain it best as I can, word by word. Well, not word by word, because I can't remember what they said, but I know what they said. Like, I know what they were trying to get at. So, first thing first is the video of her, how she wrote an article about um, people stealing her her work but now that by now this now now this is a uh, snapchat news coverage uh, the sketchy one too just like um, SGV hey, you know how like SGV for those who are gamers you know how SGV are like a gaming report channel for games but we recently discovered that they're not that legit due to uh, a lot of peer situation yeah I think about it like that but this time they asked for her small story because back of uh, I think 2020 I got an email from now this news they said we've recently seen your short film Groundhog Day for a black man and found it very powerful we would love to amplify it and share the message with our audience they ended up posting it to their Facebook and their Twitter page then one year after now this posts my short Netflix puts out a short called Two Distant Strangers on April 9th, 2021, and it's about a black man who lives the same day over and over again and tries to survive a police interaction. It also got nominated for an Oscar. This hit me when I saw in the opening credits in association with Now This. This past Sunday, they just won an Oscar for that short, Two Distant Strangers. And I don't know what happened. I'm not making any assumptions. For 2017, I forgot what year, she made a video about uh, how a black person gets shot every day from the cops no matter what they do 
and at the end of it it shows how like a uh, black officer told him hey you and then he looks and he's like Four and a half years ago, in 2016, I wrote and directed a short called Groundhog Day for a Black Man, which is about a black man who relives the same day over and over and tries different methods to survive a police interaction. Then one- Oh, you just gotta, you know, keep surviving and he gives him like the, the man half hug shake type of deal. So yeah, that happened at the end of their video, uh, of her video. Now the Netflix version, they ended it where he, uh, actually joined the police academy which doesn't really make sense how does he do that on day one i thought you had to go to school and all that stuff i i ain't know i ain't trying to become a police officer i don't know what the steps are or even attempt it um so that's whatever the netflix series the point is they got it all, they got her story wrong so they obviously modified it because they probably don't want to give her credit for it I don't know that's actually the reason why but who knows right who knows what the reason was point of being is she just said it and she said she doesn't care about giving the credit or anything. um then half of the black community um whatever you want to say uh like you know tiktokers or i don't know because like uh it's like me you know i say i would speak for the behalf of the gaming community so they're probably speaking for the big behalf of the black community because these two very much well-known tiktokers with a good follow said that um they didn't appreciate what she did okay first the guy said yeah what they did was wrong like give the credit to the writer but that's about it he didn't that's all he said he didn't appreciate the fact that she wrote a story about uh black men when they, uh, it's not her story to tell but then if no one else is gonna do a video or a, a uh, push the stories like how are you gonna get it out there for people to finally realize like this is what's actually going to that's this is what's actually going on you know uh so yeah that's the thing that's had. so that's what he said still very wrong though because i believe that she, she had the ability to and the money to because i'm pretty sure it was in a cheap video even though it's a short film there's still a lot of work behind the film and the person who did the film like the actor i'm pretty sure he didn't mind it too and i'm pretty sure he was gladly to do the special um project for the small film um People see it as a, oh, she's trying to get a money back. Obviously, you're going to get paid for something that you're going to do as far as advertisement. If someone's going to do a small video on a topic or on YouTube, she probably got paid for it, you know. It's what happens in life. You get paid for the work you do, even though it was not a bad attention to. But you see, people got to make a living somehow, right? Um... But if it was written, if the story was written by a black person, it would be a huge different story. Like, people would be like, oh wow, give him the bag that he deserves because he wrote the story about us, right? Um, regardless, Netflix got it wrong though. And then I guess people got her story confused too. Just because hers ended with him dressing like a police officer, but she specifically says that he didn't join the police officer he just dressed like one to not get shot by one um which in the i'm pretty sure it still happened even though he dressed like that because he woke up the very next well the same day he woke up the same day and then he that's when he just decided to rock versus drive i guess um and then met the black officer uh, this is other female. She just straight up said that she was just in it for the money, which is even true um, She just wanted to get credit for The work that they uh, got their idea from with a black man basically a spin-off of Groundhog Day So that's just the very controversial things are going on at the moment on TikTok, but and policing at all too because that shows that there's some people out there that saying not all police are bad but if that was the case then how come they're not stopping the bad ones you know and then on top of that they uh, and when they do get in trouble when an officer does get in trouble they get to not go to jail but stay at home until the situation they did is investigated and it's either by their own 
station or by the FBI which I suggest that every situation that's done uh, should be done by the uh, FBI versus their own station because no one's gonna want to snitch or put their own co-workers to jail you know that's just the uh, way of life and business and that's what people are not understanding these days so that's why I uh, wanted to make a huge video about it because it's like I think people are really truly missing the point and it and now it's being a hypocrite because now they're saying if other nationalities can't do can't speak for their story then that's just being racist itself you know it's just it is regardless how you think about it or say it well those are my thoughts on the controversial topics there was another thing I wanted to talk about but I forgot what it was so yeah then we'll just end it here uh let me know in the comments, like I said, what, what do you think about this, what side are you on, are you on the side of, oh, she shouldn't have wrote the story, or on the side of that, yeah, she should get that credit, and not much of the bag, she doesn't really care about that bag, and what I mean by bag, I mean by money, you know, like, she's not doing it for the money, but for production and for the subscription, there's always going to be money involved, regardless of what you do. So don't, don't, um, don't be that person. Oh, I remember now, speaking of TikTok, there's this kid on TikTok that thought he was being a free thinker, but he was really just being a fool. So, there was a uh, video of uh, Biden during, uh, he's, has his mask on outside but he doesn't have it inside when he's with his family and the kid was trying to say something about the mom like oh he uh I don't know he was trying to say it was a bad thing that he was doing but it really wasn't because he was already vaccinated before anybody else on top of that he uh he won't raise their mask outside but no one's gonna wear their mask inside you know just there's no need to but yeah I found that crazy he said uh, the comments they were just roasting him and the comments they told him like oh um, like what how's that an issue and then he's like some he was like uh, he's like what's wrong with being a free thinker and they were like uh, that's not being a free thinker but to each their own I guess to each their own it just doesn't make sense how things like that happen to me it doesn't make sense but people are just uh, hopefully he grows up smarter and realizes he, what he did was foolish but who knows but yeah so the link should be in the description for the film because I saw it earlier so it should be in my history and I guarantee it it's there and I, su I generally su uh, suggest you watch the whole thing. It's very short. It's gonna be the same length of this video, if not shorter, because I don't know how long I've been talking already. And I could tell it's been a while, so. Yeah, and in fact, I don't even know where I'm gonna drop that, that TikTok uh, video of her explaining stuff. But till then keep gaming and uh yeah try to be be smart you know look at the the uh, outcome you know and you'll uh you'll get you'll get you get to places let's just say Pull over, stop. If you fuck around, up shots and probably won't stop. This the life I live. Pay the price, you probably would not. I'm a hot boy, pop out bitch at Modelo time. We just about to drink, you don't need to bring out the wine. All I mama see the look at you, yeah, you so fine. I'm a rowdy rough boy, look at Blossom from behind. Huh? She couldn't close her mouth cause Godzilla just hit a spine. Hey. Face down, ass up, how we wine and dine. She say I, I can't tell nobody, gotta tell the guys. We been doing dirt together, gotta jump and ride.